Howdy, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Sidemen Reacts. Today, I'm joined by Zerka and Vicstar123. And we are watching what was found inside Hitler's last will. Boom. I reckon he's still alive, to be honest. I reckon he went Caribbean. Have you seen that concept of conspiracy? <laughs> I, think it's too late. I think it's too late now, though. Like, yeah. what, how old is he joined the war? Yeah, he might die now, but I mean, like, I think he dipped, you know? Who knows? Fuck it. Well, let's find out what this creepy bastard left behind. Hitler was an incredibly rich man when he wrote his last will and testament in the bunker where he would take his life. He had amassed a fortune from the sales of Mein Kampf, business deals, and private investments. But who got Hitler's money after his death? What else was in his will? And could there be a massive fortune hidden away somewhere waiting to be found? Oh yeah, where'd it go? Do you reckon there's any... Uh, Hitler's kids, do you want to be in a Simon video? What? Like, no. no what, what do you mean no? I, I think so, this idea. Well, no, we just question them and talk to them in that. Question them? Yeah, or, or dunk tank them. We can do okay. something with them. <laughs> <laughs> we can do something with them. Do you want to do hide and seek, lads? So, Sidemen, yeah. Sidemen. I don't want to do hide and seek with Hitler's. Definitely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. As Nazi Germany fell during the end of World War II, Hitler committed suicide and transferred his power to other members of the Nazi mm. regime. But before he did this, he wrote a will. There were three copies of the will distributed, and all that might have been lost to time if not had been for a British intelligence officer named Hermann Rothman. He was deployed to Germany to interrogate high-level Nazi officials for information. While on assignment, he spotted a suspicious man dressed in civilian clothing. Rothman decided oh. something didn't seem right, and that the man warranted further investigation. He discovered the German man was carrying falsified documents. It turned out the imposter was Heinz Lorenz. Lorenz was the press secretary for Joseph Goebbels, the man who was made Chancellor of Nazi Germany by Hitler just before he committed suicide. Sewn into one of the seams of Lorenz's jacket were three documents. They were a final political statement Ooh, written by Hitler wow. himself, a document written by Goebbels, and Hitler's will. As you might expect, the political statement was wildly racist against the Jewish people. Hitler blamed them for his own shortcomings and for causing Nazi Germany to lose the war, thus reinforcing what a lunatic Hitler was. But what it's was tough. in his will? Yeah. Who got his fortune? The first thing Hitler talks about in his will is his new wife, Eva Braun. Up until right before their double suicide, Eva and Adolf were not yet married. Eva was the aide to Hitler's official photographer. They first met during a photo shoot of the Fuhrer. Hitler and Braun developed a relationship and when opportunities presented themselves, spent time alone together. Hitler right. explained in his will that he was too busy to marry and that was why they did it right before their death. Tell me what Some scholars have Hitler. their own theories about why <laughs> Hitler waited so long to marry Braun, but according to Hitler's will, at the end of April 1945, the two were joined in matrimony. Hitler goes on to declare that Eva Braun made the decision under her own free will to commit suicide with him. Whether this what? is true or not, we'll never know, but in his will, Hitler claims this to be the case. In the next part of his will, Hitler discusses what will happen to his belongings and money. He states that everything he possesses and has any value should be given to the Nazi party. However, Hitler writes it in a way that seems as if he doesn't own much of anything. This is far from the truth, as he had right. amassed a fortune from the sales of Mein Kampf, oh. as well as through royalties on images of himself and business deals. But it's not like Nike won't just do it Hitler. What do you mean image rights? <laughs> I guess, right I guess they, people love to use his image back then. Media so. was different back then as well. Like, they had like to they... pay to use his image. What, so to say, say media wanted to say, ah, oh, Hitler's just fucking wrapped up another lot of fucking camps. Uh, and they've whacked him as a headline, what, they've got to pay him for that? Do you know what, right? If they so. want a picture of him, they've got to ask for a picture of him so they can, like, scan it and print it in their yeah, newspaper. It'd be, it'd be different. They can't, think... they can't just jump on Google and be, like, picture of... Yeah, they ain't going on Google and just going, yeah, like, Hitler.png. You know what I mean? Like... <laughs> I can't believe... <laughs> I can't believe what this has become. Hitler continues by saying that if the Nazi party does not survive, that his belongings should be given to the state. And if the state does not survive, then all is lost and his wishes are no longer necessary. Hitler does not make specific arrangements for his paintings and pictures, which he had collected over the years. They were to be given to Linz, Austria, the town in which he grew up. There, he also wanted the art to be displayed in a gallery for the public, and not as a private collection. It's in the next part of the will that Hitler mentions his money, yet he still does not acknowledge the massive sum he's accumulated over the course of his rise to power. Hitler gives Martin Bormann, his private secretary and Nazi official, full legal authority to make decisions based on his will. Ah. Surely this guy ended up in, in prison. Hitler states that everything of sentimental value and the funds necessary for a modest life should be given to his brothers and sisters. However, it would seem his own family was not quite as important as someone else. Hitler goes on to say that, above all, if Braun's mother should be taken mm -hmm. care of. He was more intentional in including her directly in his will than his own family. This seems odd, but then again, Hitler was an odd man. He also yes. put in his will that of all his faithful co-workers, particularly his secretary Frau Winter, should be looked after as well. 
There is no specific number or amount of money each should receive, which means it was up to the discretion of Bormann. However, we know that Hitler's oh, fortune shit. was Me massive, so if his last will and testament was followed, there was a hefty sum of money that could have been distributed among the parties described in the will. Hitler concludes his will by saying that he and his now wife, Eva Braun, would rather escape disgrace by choosing death over being captured. He also included that once he took Eva's life and then his own, their bodies were to be immediately burned. He signed the will given in Berlin, 29th of April 1945, 4am, a Hitler. Below his Damn. name, the three witnesses of the will are signed as well. How much money he had? How much money was it? A couple of M's. That's what I'm back saying. Then. How many? Yeah. How much P's? Because I feel like if you're that powerful back then, like you'd be like ridiculous amounts. It was not a very long will and did not contain many specifics, but it did give us a glimpse into what would happen to Hitler's belongings once he took his own life. However, this begs the question: What really happened to all of Hitler's possessions and money? Yeah, tell me. This this whole video is about, right? The surprising thing is, we aren't entirely sure. We know for a fact that Mein Kampf made Hitler very rich. By the time of his death in 1945, the book had sold about 8 million copies and had been translated into 16 languages. It was estimated that Hitler earned around $1 million per year in royalties. Some of this right. money was used to buy his Alpine mil. retreat, named the Berghof, which royalty, was located man. near the town of Berchtesgarten in Germany. This was not a cheap estate, so Hitler must have spent a significant amount of money on it. He also felt he had enough money that once he became Fuhrer, he forewent the salary associated with the position. In Mein Kampf and other writings, Hitler talked about his earlier life in poverty and hardship. He was a struggling artist in Vienna before fighting in World War I and the publication of his influential book. He talked about how he overcame all odds to succeed and made enough money to live comfortably. Once he had money, it was reported that he spent millions on gifts and payments to buy the loyalty of politicians and businessmen. The payments would allow him to be able to call in favors and make others dependent on him. Obviously, this would not have been possible without a massive sum of money. So, I've watched Schindler's List, right? Mm. They never once said that this man was balling like a Bo Diddley. That was never mentioned. <laughs> this man's got, he's got brains. I mean, that was a lot to his story, I guess. Like... Mm. Cinder is quality, by the way. Really like that film. Yeah, good film, good film. Sad, but good film. Once he became Fuhrer, Hitler no longer thought of there being a divide between his personal money and that of the Nazi party. He would use funds from both his own wealth and the state to buy property, art, and make business deals. It's also well established that before becoming the Fuhrer, Hitler was a tax evader. He was in debt through back <laughs> taxes shot. until he rose to power. And once in power, the money continued to flow into his pockets. Big businesses would make huge contributions to his efforts yeah. so they could secure military and infrastructure contracts. It's estimated that from the time he started as chancellor until his suicide in 1945, Hitler received over $3 billion in corporate payments. Uh, hmm? What? what? Sorry, sorry, mate, what was it? Wait, what's it? <laughs> Jacket? What did he the fuck did this Don just say? Hitler received over three billion dollars in corporate payments. Ah! So what happened to all of Hitler's money? Three Is it still dollars. out there in the world waiting to be discovered? Well. In his what? will, Hitler says he wanted all his property and wealth to go to the Nazi party. However, we know that the Nazis were defeated and therefore the will defaults to the now next that. beneficiary, which was the state. In a way, the state did get much of Hitler's wealth. At the end of the war, the Allies gave the copyrights of Mein Kampf to the Bavarian government. There was still a lot of potential money that could have been brought in by owning the copyrights to the book. However, the government banned any reprinting of the work in Germany, and therefore those funds stopped coming in. Both Hitler's Berghof estate in the Alps and his apartment in Munich were also given to Bavaria. So it would seem that a lot of Hitler's assets did actually go to the state like he wanted in his will. However, most of this was in the form of physical and intellectual property. What happened to the expensive art collections yeah, and actual money? There are accounts <laughs> of Hitler's house in the Alps mate. being bombed by Allied forces and then oh. looted by the soldiers. It's possible that much of the artwork that Hitler had collected was stolen during this time. We also don't know exactly what was in Solid Hitler's house types. when it was raided. We know the Nazis liked to create secret passages and bunkers. If there were such secrets within Berghof, perhaps the soldiers who found them were able to get away with the money and other things. Oh, so they, they, they earned it. They worked hard. Yeah, fuck like, it. They risked well their lives. Yeah, take, take the peas, take the artwork. In 1952, what remained of Hitler's Berghof house was blown up by the Bavarian government to keep it from attracting tourists and people who might have still shared Hitler's ideologies. With the destruction of the house, anything that might have been hidden within would have been lost. Hitler's apartment in Munich is still there, but it's been converted to a police station instead of a residence. Right that. So it would seem that the Bavarian government did in fact receive some of Hitler's possessions as per his will. However, when trying to follow the actual money and where it went, things become a bit unclear. Since his fortune was so intertwined with the money of the Nazi party, 
it's possible that much of his wealth was spent on the war effort at the end of World War II. That being said, it is possible that some of the money and valuables that once belonged to Hitler were smuggled out of Nazi Germany by deserters and officers trying to escape Allied forces. Yes, it's possible. However, we may never know how much of Hitler's fortune was disseminated this way. Hitler knew he would lose World War II, and rather than being tried for his crimes, decided to take his own life and that of his brand new bride. Just Coward. before he committed suicide, Hitler Coward did write a will, out. and in it he laid out what to do with his possessions. But he was somewhat Ooh. vague about the extent of his actual wealth in the document. It would seem that most of what Hitler owned went to the Bavarian state. He got secret money, money somewhere. It's gone somewhere, right? Yeah. Surely. I've already just said how much he had. Josh, he's gone to the Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> However, his fortune is not completely accounted for. Perhaps some of Hitler's money and valuables are still out there waiting to be discovered. Or perhaps everything he had and owned was lost or plundered during the war that he started. So wait, was his body never no. found by, by... No, no, that's why there's so many conspiracies. He, 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 he requested to get burnt, right? So... Yes. Yeah. Bro, there's so many conspiracies, bro. I reckon Gobbles fucking... So he could have just straight gone. Gobbles sent him packing, bro. Gobbles sent him to fucking Antigua or something. Don's li lived a Vida Loca. And now there's a couple Hitler children running got, about. Got rid of Latash and just screw saying else. Apparently, apparently they got his teeth. Apparently they got his teeth. Oh, did they? And complicated dental work matches to his medical records. Ooh. Okay, no, 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 and no, no, he, so that. he did die in nineteen forty-five. And you can't fake those. Oh, ah, yeah. we take that. We take that. We take those. We take those. So he went when he when he when everyone thought he went. Apparently, which we'll we'll take. We'll take. Are we taking it? Good riddance. Good riddance <laughs> with you. Well, that was quality. That was like horrible history. I feel like I just sat there and just just digest information opposed to actually reacting. I mean, I, I feel like I've wasted eight minutes. I'm not gonna lie. So I'm sorry about that, everybody watching. Um, nah, you know what? You know, I feel like whole history. Has... They have nice animations. Yeah. History has more. many different sides to it, and there's always more yeah. to learn. So there we go.